Greetings uh, to the Gibb family, Gibbs family. My name is D. Maldro. I represent uh, Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. And on behalf of the Theta Omega chapter, as bossless of the Theta Omega chapter, I just wanted to um, do this presentation with a few brothers on here just to show you exactly what Brother Gibbs meant to the brotherhood. Now, me personally, I didn't have a personal experience in a relationship with Brother Gibbs, but I do with his sayings his line brothers that are going to speak here. And uh, the brother, his name still rings bells throughout the community here in Louisville and throughout the Theta Omega chapter here in Louisville, Kentucky. So uh, these are our condolences for the good brother. He lived a great life here and he put up a good fight here. So we know he's resting with the father forever, forever and eternity and job well done here. And please accept these condolences on our behalf. And uh, we will definitely have an official um, Omega Psi Phi fraternity ceremony uh, for Brother Gibbs in due time, you know, when the situation presents itself uh, without limitations uh, due to COVID-19. We would love to have done this, you know, for his uh, service uh, this coming weekend, uh, but just we want to send a brother off right, you know, uh, to Omega uh, chapter. So we would definitely notify the family, you know, once we host that official Omega ceremony, and we will invite you all out to that ceremony. So please accept these condolences on our behalf, and uh, we give peace, we give blessings uh, from the Theta Omega chapter here in Louisville, Kentucky. This time, I'd like to turn it over to our chaplain, uh, Brother Morton. I would like to say to the family of Brother Nick Gibbs, um, I remember when I first met him and that was uh, because when he uh, expressed an interest to become a member of Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity, I was the, at that time, the uh, Dean of Pledges and he have his two brothers with him. Uh, he also joined us, Joe Wiley and J.J. Jackson. And there, it was three individuals that I really enjoyed working with. Um, and Nick just kind of stood out because of Nick. And, and it was a good line, a very good line. And I'm really going to miss him. I haven't seen him over the years. Uh, but Nick still reigns in my heart, because as I said before, at that, that time, when you uh, not only become a brother, but you also the one that was responsible for seeing that they got into the fraternity the right way, you became real close with those brothers. And I became close with Nick, Joe, and JJ. And there are some things I would like to tell you, but I can't, <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I will do this because I know how you feel. But uh, being a member of the Kentucky State College at that time, um, but it's a university now, we used to, uh, in the concert choir, we used to sing this old Na uh, Negro hymn. And it was called, Sooner We'll Be Done With the Troubles of the World. Troubles of the world, troubles of the world. Sooner we'll be done with the troubles of the world, going home to live with God. No more weeping and a wailing. No more weeping and a wailing. No more weeping and a wailing. I'm going home to live with God. And it ends with one of a good saying is that when he gets home, he says, I want to meet my Jesus. I want to meet my Jesus. I want to meet my Jesus. I'm going home to live with God. And finally, I want to give some comforting words to you. And I'm taking it out of 1 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, beginning with verse number 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brother, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. 
for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall ride first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. As I previously said, Nick is okay. Nick is all right. Because Nick now is absent from the body, but he is in the holy presence of God. And there's no more suffering. There's no more pain, as I read in, in the song. And one day, one day, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. And it closes out when we all see Jesus. And I always like to add, and when we all see Jesus and Nick, we will we'll see the victory. My sympathy to you, but God bless you. Nick is okay. Absolutely, absolutely. And thanks for those kind of remarks, uh, um, Brother Kenny. Uh, well said, very well said and very well done. Um, true stories as well, very true stories. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to uh, his sons, Mr. Uh, Joseph Wiley. And I believe your line is on mute. If you can come off mute and um, speak on his behalf. Go ahead, sir. Thank you, Brother Bosworth, uh, for this opportunity to ex express our sincere condolences uh, to my line brother's family. My name is Joseph Wiley. I'm a member of the Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, and I belong to, I'm a member of the local chapter, Theta Graduate Chapter, Theta Omega Chapter. Now, I pledged Omega April 12, 1980, and Nick was one of my line brothers, along with Brother James Jackson Jr. We called him JJ. Now, our line name is Elements of the Universe. Brother Jackson, as we call him JJ, his line name was Earth. Uh, my line name was Wind, W I N D. And Brother Gibbs' line name was Fire. That's Earth, Wind, and Fire. You remember that? Probably a singing group back in the day. Elements of the Universe. And we were a unique group. And there's a lot I can say about the group, the camaraderie. We had fun together, along yeah. with our DOP, Brother Morton. We thank him for his protection <laughs> and seeing us through it. There was, were some fun days. They, they were long, long nights, but we, we really enjoyed our pledge. As I said, we were a unique line, and we hit it off at the very beginning. And as time progressed during our pledge session, our bond became stronger and stronger. And that continued throughout the years. Nick and I used to call along with JJ. We usually get together at special events, but we enjoyed each other's company. And brother Nick will be greatly missed as he has now been inducted into the Omega chapter. He will long be remembered. And it is our sincere condolences, our line, our sincere condolences and our prayers are with the family of our dearly beloved brother, Brother Nicholas Gibbs. May he rest in peace. We love him. Love him dearly. Appreciate that. Uh, yes. Some long nights he was protected by the DOP. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know how that go. I know how that go. All right. Next up, we want to turn it over to Brother uh, Gary Smith, who's had a lot of experience with our dear Brother Gibbs in the military. So, uh, brother, um, brother Smith, the floor is yours. Yes, I've been knowing uh, Nick for over 40 years. We were uh, first lieutenants together. And uh, the unique thing about Brother Gibbs was that he was a combat infantryman from Vietnam. So anybody that was from the Vietnam era knew what Brother Gibbs went through to be a Amen. combat infantryman. 
son at the age of 19 years old. Mm -hmm. And he rose to the rank of full bird colonel. And mm -hmm. uh, I tell people that he was the best officer I ever served with from general all the way down. Not only was he uh, a scholar from graduating number one in his class at Command and Staff College, he was also president of Container Corporation. So he did those two things at the same time. And I tell people that Brother Gibbs could have been a general if he wanted to. He was the closest thing to Colin Powell that I ever met. But one thing Brother Gibbs always stressed was, friendship is essential to the soul. Mm -hmm. And the main, one of the main reasons he pledged was because his hero was Langston Hughes. Mm -hmm. And he never let us forget that where he came from and how humble he was to be such a, like I said, a scholar, a gentleman, and a soldier. And that's the highest compliment that you can pay to a soldier to say that he was the best officer I ever served with, barring none, and let alone a good person. So I give my condolences to the family and we will miss him. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord indeed. And thanks a lot for um, coming on with those kind words. Powerful, powerful experiences with our dear brother. And as let folk know, uh, you know, he wasn't no joke in what he was doing out there in the military and for the fraternity as well. For you to even, you know, uh, put him on the same level in terms of uh, Colin Powell with that prestige, uh, prestige, that speaks a lot for how his walk was in the military, serving our country and serving his brothers and just serving humanity in general. So appreciate you, uh, Brother Smith, for coming on, sharing sharing those stories. Thank you, my brother. And last but not least, we have uh, our very own uh, brother, JJ, is his very own sayings from, you know, earth, wind, and fire, the elements of the universe, who is also our chapter uh, KRS. And he's going to close us out in the fashion that only he can. And um, I'd like to turn it over to Brother JJ at this time. I felt like I was blessed to know Brother, Brother Gibbs. You know, for those who didn't know me a time back, I was kind of uh, shunned away from folks because I, 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 you know, I always had that hurt feeling of losing someone. Uh, the first time that I was online, I ended up having to drop because my father passed. So I can't kind of stayed away from folks. But when I had that second chance to go and I met and I met Brother Joe Wiley and Brother Nick Gibbs, you know, it, it, it seemed like it was more family oriented mm -hmm. than just lying, just lying brothers. We it was like we were brothers for real. You know, I hadn't had that kind of feeling since. I had left home and I had left home some years ago when I left co college, you know, I, I was military bound and you know, they, they used to pick on me. <laughs> Why? Uh, two army persons on each, each side of a, of a Marine person. <laughs> but you know what it was? It was just that, you know, that kind, of, that kind of military camaraderie, because no matter what division or what unit you were in, you were still in a brotherhood. And you got to feel that. And when you're talking about, you know, some of the things that happen when you're in an infantry unit, it's, you know, like, it only takes somebody else's being that lets you know, you know, what's it, how, how, how I can feel. And, and what, what you can talk about and what you can't talk about. It's just, they, they know from whence you come. That makes a difference. And when you got somebody left, that was another thing that made it feel like they, they were, it was, it was family. It was real brothers. You know, so when, when we got to the point where friendship was essential to the soul, it truly was. 
we weren't lying brothers. We were family brothers. And with that, it didn't matter what was going on, the holiday, we would call and find out what the other was doing. We were online when uh, we were told that Sister Gibbs was expected. I'll never forget that day. He said, uh, I'm going to really be busy now. Like he wasn't busy before. <laughs> Nick was here. He was going through sc uh, school over at the 100 over there at Bowman Field. He was working full time, you know, at Container Corporation. And even when he wasn't there at, at school, he still had the weekends that he had to go for reserve. Like he wasn't busy. <laughs> I, you know, it, it's somebody else that had to, that didn't know him know that, hey, shoot, busy was his lifeline. <laughs> but you know what? Those two guys, they upheld me. I mean, we would meet late at night because of our schedule, and we would still just have so much fun and learning. It, you know, just to, it, 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 you, you don't want to know what it is when you're learning together and you're building together. He will be missed. He will be missed. I remember him talking to me, encouraging me to come and play for a family group that he was in. And I kept saying, no, I, it, it's all right. He said, "Oh, you you can do it." I say, "Well, that wasn't the that wasn't the problem." He said, "Well, I told them that I had somebody that who could do it, and, and and they expected me to have you to come." Okay, well, that changed things. If he already said I'm coming, you know, you do not give up a line, brother. He's already put himself out on the line, so that means now you have to go ahead and man the wall. You've got to go ahead and uphold because you didn't want him to be, you know, someone with false words. That doesn't work well with me. And he would have only said it if he knew and he thought that it was worthwhile. And it was worthwhile. Nicholas Noel Gibbs. Hmm. For those that don't know, he had that name because he was born on Christmas. He was a special gift to his family. And he was more of a special gift to us. They call us the singing line. Because you know what? At first, everybody wanted to back away. But it was my background. So I was so joyful to be able to share with my brothers. And it didn't miss, we didn't miss a meeting. I have a meeting where they didn't have us singing something. We the Lampardus pledge Omega Psi Phi. It, it was something like that brotherhood is tied together. We're no longer Lampardus. We are true men of Omega. Nick never let us down. If Nick said he was going to do it, he would do it. If he said, don't give up, you can do it, he had this way of pushing you and encouraging you. And if it wasn't for Nick and Joe, I know I wouldn't have made it, trying to be for full, working full-time, full-time in graduate school, not a family. It, it's, a, it's a hard job. But you know what? Between Nick, Joe, and Brother Mouse, that was the encouragement that you that I, I would never forget. I had my second chance because of those men. Mouse wasn't on the line, but he upheld the line. He was there. Nick was always the one. Nick seemed to be the one that, that was most strong and, and could give that encouragement. And he didn't have to come down on you to get that skirt. Oh, don't worry. You missed it that time. Don't worry. We're going to get back on it. We're going to have it. Then let's all do it together. We all did it together. 
because we had a strong, strong leader within us. He will be missed. When you sing Omega Dear, he will be missed. Mm. When you just look at all the songs that were there, he will truly be missed. I don't know about tomorrow. I just know about today. We don't know what's coming for tomorrow. But you know what? We know who leads us. Mm -hmm. And he kept us together. He holds our hand. Brother Nick. Colonel Nick. When I saw him once and I said, Colonel, how are you doing? He said, I'm still Nick. He might have been Colonel on base, but when he saw you, he was still Brother Nick. And that was what was so important. He was always himself. Mm. And he didn't let you forget that. If you could talk to me then, you can talk to me now. Mm -hmm. I'll miss him. All I can say is he may be rejoicing because he lost his true love, Gwen. Mm -hmm. And I remember the last time I saw him as he watched her earthly body that was there. He was trying his best to hold up, not for himself, but for their son. Thinking of somebody else, as rough as that pain was, he was thinking of someone else. And finally, you know, he just kind of backed off and turned his head a little. And you could see pain. No more pain, Brother Nick. Nothing but joy. Well, Joe and I, we are always have the joy because we had the pleasure of him being with us. Brother Nick Gibbs, yeah. now off the glory, glory land. No more battles, only love and joy. Thank you, Brother Bosses, for just allowing me to have a few words. No, oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Brother JJ. Thank you, Brother Smith. Thank you, Brother Wiley. Thank you, Brother Morton. Um, Y'all was a close-knit group uh, amongst all y'all, and I just learned a lot uh, to live by just watching y'all talk about his life. I can take some of those principles and sustain uh, my life, my family, just from those brief words that you all share. And everyone who will hear this, they can do the same as well. So we appreciate you brothers for uh, joining in on this. We appreciate the Gibbs family for allowing us to uh, pay tribute to our own dear brother, Theta Omega, brother Nick Gibbs. May you rest in power, rest in peace, and rest with the Heavenly Father. Uh, beyond this place of wrath and tears, looms but the horror of the state shade, yet the minutes of the years. Find the shell, find all of us unafraid. So we love you, Brother Nick. Thank you, family. Once again, we're going to host an official Omega ceremony uh, when the situation presents itself outside of COVID-19 regulations, and we will keep the family in tune uh, with those arrangements and invite you all uh, to uh, come to that ceremony. So again, thank you for having us and um, peace and blessings to you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you again, Brother Bob.